Today we're going to do some exercises that help with strengthening the body to handle some downhill running in courses like CIM, Boston Marathon, Revel races, etc. So here we go. First, we're going to start with some tippy twists to warm up our body here. So balance on one leg, keep the body and the other leg straight in a line, and then uh, rotate that hip. You can see that you always are better on one side than the other side. Um, so my left glute and hip is my weaker one. So then this side I struggle on more than the other side. So I just did 10 on each leg. Feel free to do as many as you need to feel warm up. First, we're going to start with a wall squat here. And basically, we're just going to sit and hold. I'm going to take some deep core breaths. Hi, Rome. Rome is helping out. Uh, I'm going to take some deep core breaths here to really pull in my uh, transverse abdominals and lift up in the pelvic floor. We're really looking for a burn to start happening in the quads here. So I'm focusing on my breathing while we're letting that burn kind of build over time. So for some people, this may be a shorter time and for others, it may be longer, just depending on how strong you are and how many times you've done this video. So um, don't rush this. Get, let that burn build. Take your deep breaths, working on that core and that pelvic floor as well as strengthening the quads. The next exercise kind of ties right into that one. So I'm going to take my physio ball, put it behind my body, and then I'm going to squat down, do about a five second hold, and then go up. And just a quick little pause at the top. Nothing to do up there. Come right back down. I'm pushing my knees out over my baby toes. So that way my knees are tracking outwards. And you can see I have about a 90 degree angle from my uh, femur bone down to my shins. You can do a, some light little pulses. You can see me pulsing there at the bottom, really getting a burn in those thighs, the quads, building up those muscles so that they can handle the pounding that comes with downhill running. This is a really good one. Keep focused. Like I said, we're gonna do 10 of these. You can always do more. Um, and you can also do multiple sets of all of these exercises. So I'm just going to run you through the first set. My ball was running away. So anyways, we are back and we are going to do some single leg raises here, marching. I'm just laying on a bench, engaging the core, engaging the glutes to keep that really high bridge. And then I'm lifting up. So this is really working my posterior chain, the glutes especially. But also that hip flexor as I'm kind of pulling it up. Just kind of tying a lot of muscles together here. All right. We're going to go right into these little dips and then up to that tabletop position. For some of you, this may be enough. Uh, this may be plenty challenging. The next one is kind of a additional, um, maybe a little bit more advanced movement. That might be something that you need to work up to or give it a try and see what you think. So we're gonna do a single leg switch and a single leg raise. So back and forth here, doing the single leg raises. And these ones, again, might be a little bit more challenging um, 
So do what you can, but the key is we wanna make sure that you can get the full movement all the way up to the top. So if you're not able to do that yet, or if you can only do it for a couple, that's totally fine. Um, you can work on the, uh, the double leg one and then work your way up to being strong enough to handle the single leg. That's it, good job. So you dip down, pop up, really working on that power. This will help keep your form intact when you're running, you're starting to fatigue, keeps those hips underneath your body, helps prevent injuries and helps keep you running at a more efficient way during hard efforts when you would otherwise start to tire. Hi, baby. Good job, everyone. All right, moving on. I'm gonna grab a 15 pound weight here. So I'm going to start on my left leg. We're gonna do Russian deadlifts, single leg. So we're working on balancing, driving through with that knee. So this is a motion that we do in running with each step. We plant, we drive through, we switch, we plant, we drive through. So this is a really good one. We're also really building up that stability in our legs. And again, I'm gonna do 10 on each side, but feel free to do more or less depending on how it feels to you. And the key is to only go down as long as you can keep your back straight. So once you have to start to uh, bend your back, there you go, see how straight my back is? Um, once you start to bend your back, then you know that you have gone past the, um, what your body is able to do. So nice and straight. We're not trying to hit the floor here or anything like that. Just do what feels right, what your body's strong enough to handle. So this is a 15 pound dumbbell. You can do more weight, you can do less. Um, you can do it with a kettlebell. You can do no weight. Um, any of the above. So meet your body where it's at so that you can get the most out of this exercise. But that one can really help with hamstrings and the posterior chain. All right, so this one you're gonna set up just like I did, one foot on the wall, kind of pushing forward off the wall, and then the other foot is balancing you. So the standing foot is the one that we are working and I'm gonna start with just some running arms and then some arms overhead. And I'm really engaging my core, my pelvic floor here as I'm doing this exercise. And I found the right balance of how far forward I should be leaning to really activate my hips and glutes. And then here I'm going to twist in towards that standing leg and again activate more like the glute med on the outside of my standing leg and then we're going to switch so you should feel this in the quad and in the glutes and again it's standing leg that we are focusing on so running arms to begin pushing off the wall stabilizing with that standing leg, pushing that knee out of the, sta of the sta standing leg so that way um, you're not collapsing in. You're pushing out over the pinky toe. Arms overhead. You should start to feel that burn in the quad and in the glutes. And then twisting. Yeah. 
into that stabilizing leg. So I'm turning my body towards it. Nice work. All right, and then I picked up that 15 pound dumbbell again, and we're gonna do a split squat here. So again, to make this harder, you just hold two weights, or you can put a bar on your shoulders, but all the weight is primarily on that front leg. That's the one that I'm using and focusing on, really isolating that quad muscle here. And I'm not going up too high that I'm straightening the leg. So you wanna keep a, a slight bend, a light tap of the knee when you go down, and then a slight bend in that front leg at all times. Awesome. And again, I'm doing 10. You can do however many you need. You can add weight, you can take away weight. Maybe just body weight is good to start. Do what feels right to you. And you can repeat this video to get in more sets. Awesome, thanks for joining me.